beautiful. Okay, I'm outside and I hope you can see this. I got a 100 watt solar panel and it's charging this battery, which happens to be a big battery. Okay, and I know it's hard to see, but I'm gonna try to take some of the glare off of there. It says I got 21 watts coming from the PV. It's the only thing charging the battery, as you can see. It shows the symbol for the solar, and it's going into the battery. Okay. So, again, I don't need a whole lot of solar to do what I need to do. Let's see. So, why are we doing this? We wanted to show that this one solar will run the solar I have in my basement that runs on LED lights. This is 12 volts. And if we plug it in, just like a regular solar should be plugged in. Let me see if I can get that plugged in. Okay. Then these are the lights that lay on the solar Let's see if we can get that cord in there okay and it charges the solar at night time now if you see that how long do you really think this big battery will run that solar so it answers the question that someone asked me why would I want to take and run LED lights over the top of solar who wants that kind of system because it's weak well if you have no power which you don't at night then guess what it takes so little power coming from the battery that you reserve during the day to run those solars and that's the point so i just wanted to show that and show that I don't have to put that many solars on my roof because the big boost comes to the stack of solars which you've seen in the other videos that run on LED lights. And this will be a solidary, this whole system right here will just be solidary. It will do one thing, run LED lights. So it will charge up from the sun, run in LED lights at night, and then my solar in the basement will take over for the night. And in the daytime, this battery down here will recharge from the sun and any other systems that I got running will run that. But again, I don't run primarily just off of the solar that runs on LED lights. So, that's just a short little video that I wanted to do show this little setup I got a lot more to, that I'm working on I gotta finish this hookup right here because I'm gonna mount the solar onto that and bolt them down and um, this thing it tilts because that's where the Sun it'll go from the back there and then up and around where you see the Sun over here so again i'm just making sure that it doesn't get stolen so i'm taking this and uh, i'm going to mount it to my balancer so everything will be tacked down uh, once i get all the parts and stuff and then this one this will not stay outside it'll go inside and then i'll just run the cord up like I did that and around into the house and um, I'll probably use this because this ring doesn't work and it's already got a hole so instead of drilling a new hole I'll use that hole and then uh, 
put the cords in there from the solar and this board will be the only one out here now i'm going to have another charge controller monitoring team what's coming in from the solar and all that but it'll be kind of like a pass through but again as you can see that led light is barely going to use any type of power to run led lights so it'll run all night and probably for a couple of days if i needed to and i'll have solar when everybody else doesn't have solar so that's the reason why i do this beautiful